Good morning. Uh, this is day seven in our 40-day video devotional series. I've been talking about God's plan uh, for mankind, and today I want to talk about God's plan to give us the ability to, to produce wealth and blessing in our lives. And one of my favorite passages that discusses this is found in Deuteronomy chapter 8. And it starts in verse 10, and it says, When you have eaten and are satisfied, praise the Lord your God for the good land that he has given you. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe his commands. We talked about that yesterday, that our part of the covenant is to obey God's commands. Going on, it says, His laws and his decrees that I am giving you this day. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, when you build fine houses and settle down, and when your herds and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increase, and all you have is multiplied, you may say to yourself, my power and my strength of my hands has produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth, and so confirms his covenant, which he swore to your forefathers as it is today. So in this we see that it says, that we need to be careful that whatever blessings we receive, whatever uh, wealth that we produce, we need to be careful to realize that it's not us. It's a part of the covenant that we have. And as it said, and we discussed yesterday, when we are obedient, then God gives us these blessings. We have to be careful not to say, well, it was me that did this, not to become satisfied in and of ourselves. So it says, it is God who gives us the ability to produce wealth. Now, one thing that's important on this is when it, to understand is that when it says God gives us the ability to produce wealth, it's not saying that wealth is just going to magically appear that, you know, the armored car is going to back up to the front porch and just begin to unload bags of money. It says that it is uh, it, God gives us the ability to produce wealth. That confirms that we are in conduct, uh, covenant with him. So the fact that we are given the ability, it is up to us to use that ability. It is up to us to uh, be obedient to God, realize that we are, in fact, in a covenant relationship with him. And the fact that he's given us the ability to produce wealth confirms that covenant. So it's a good thing to know that we are, in fact, in covenant with him, that we're doing our part. And then it's up to us to take the ability that he's given us and figure out how we best can use it to be um, to be in that position to produce wealth. Now, one of the best ways I know that we can all do, you know, I can't tell you to go out and uh, start a business, go out and invent something, go out and publish something, or you know, um, the, or or, or to, uh, how to work the stock market and those kind of things to produce wealth. I can't tell you those things. Uh, those are a part of the abilities that God's given you specifically. But something I can tell you where God has given us all the ability to produce wealth is, is found in Malachi chapter 3 and starting in verse 10. It says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty. Now, this is the only place I know in Scripture where God ever tells us to test him. And he tells us to test him in the giving of our tithe. It goes on, says the Lord, uh, test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. I will prevent pests from devouring your crops, and the vines in your fields will not cast off their fruit, says the Lord Almighty. Then all the nations will call you blessed, for yours will be a delightful land, says the Lord Almighty. This is something we all can do. We may not all be able to start a business or know how to uh, uh, be active in the stock market and trading stocks and bonds and those kinds of things. We may not have the ability to, to uh, publish uh, great novels that everybody wants to buy and read, but we all can pay our tithe. We all can bring into the storehouse. And then God even says, test me in this. And he says, when we do it, he's going to throw open the floodgates of heaven. He's going to see not just that he's going to give us stuff, but what we have will uh, sustain and produce. As he, he uh, puts it in this you know, agrarian culture, uh, I will prevent the pests from devouring your crops. Maybe for, the, for you, that means your appliances aren't going to break down or your car's not going to break down. God's going to make sure that things are running well. Uh, your your vines will not cast off their fruit. Those things that we have in place that are uh, growing and producing are going to be protected by God if we do this one thing. So 
God says that he's given us the ability to produce wealth. God wants us to do that as a part of the covenant relationship that we have with him. We are in covenant and that ability to produce wealth is something that confirms that we are in covenant. I don't know about you, but I like knowing that I am in fact in covenant with God. So when I'm obedient to him, I obey his commands. I don't get full of myself and say, look what I've done. But I realize it's God that's given me the ability to produce wealth. And then I take that and I use it. And again, it doesn't mean great, you know, uh, riches or that kind of thing, but it means that we are provided for, we are sustained, we have what we need. When we do that, we enjoy God's blessing and we know that we are in covenant relationship with him. So uh, I hope that gives you some encouragement to know that God wants to provide for you. Let me just close out today by uh, praying for you. Father, I come in the name of Jesus and I pray, Lord, that you will speak specifically to each heart that hears this. God, what is it you've done and gifted us for that we can use this ability, know how to use it, be wise in using it? I pray, God, that every person and every family, uh, their material needs are met. I pray, God, that they do not really say, well, look what I've done. But Lord, we all realize that it is only you. Lord, everything, every good and perfect gift we have comes down from you, the Father of lights. Lord, I know that even the very breath in our nostrils, it comes from you. And we should glorify you and praise you accordingly. God, I pray that our lives would also be an example and an encouragement and bring hope to those people that we come into contact with. We're not special. If you will bless and provide for us, you'll do it for them too. When? When we are in covenant with you. So God, confirm our covenant at this again this day, and we give you all the praise and the glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a great day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.